Well, going back to our original uh, proposal to the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, we spoke about the repurposing of caddies and, and casual vul vulnerable workers. So, you know, we've encouraged all of our clubs to repurpose caddies to help with pace of play, social distancing, um, you know, raking bunkers, they, they would only use a rake that they themselves touch. So all of these kinds of things have been uh, communicated to the clubs. Um, they understand how we could repurpose caddies and, and, and casual workers. We've also translated into four different language, languages a document that's, uh, that's on our website um, in terms of health and safety for, for caddies and casual workers. So, you know, we take this, this kind of thing very seriously. We do want as many of our casual workers to get back to work. The, the clubs obviously have been through an incredibly difficult time. Um, some of the clubs will be able to, to implement that um, as soon as they get up and running again. Others will take a bit longer because, you know, they have to sort of build up some income from golfers playing before they can start to save um, some of the jobs that have already been lost. But, you know, this is a process um, and one that we can, we can start to uh, attend to now. So the other project we've been working on is our Golf for Us a Help Fund, which is aimed at caddies and, and vulnerable workers. We already put a million rand in some weeks back. And we've helped caddies at 143 clubs around the country. Um, the clubs themselves also have also done a lot of work uh, to help caddies in terms of food vouchers, food parcels. Most clubs have tried to continue to pay their caddies during this time. Um, but we've, we've, we've essentially spent that first one million. Um, thousands of caddies around the country were helped. But we've just added in another 500,000. This has come from the, the budget of our, of our national squad. Um, the Golf Development Board, South African Golf Development Board, has just put another 500,000 in there. And we've just had a million rand from an international benefactor that's going into this uh, Golf for Us a Help Fund to help these caddies and, and, uh, and people that have been without jobs. So, you know, we're very proud of this. We're excited about it. Today we launched our raffle and our auction. Um, that's something that's really exciting for, for the people to take a look at. We've got things like rounds of golf with Ernie Els uh, at Fancourt that we're raffling. We've got uh, things on auction, some some famous artworks, uh, unique experiences with with wine farms or or restaurants, and things that you can't normally buy. Um, some of the uh, international uh, superstars that we have in our country and worldwide have have donated rounds of golf for themselves. We're talking about stars like Scott Brits and Kevin Peterson's uh, offered rounds of golf for him at Wentworth overseas. So. It's worth having a look. There's some really exciting stuff. This is a long-term project. We'd like to sustain the, the Golf for Us a Help Fund for, for, for caddies and, and casual workers through this initiative, through these ongoing raffles that we'll be having and these ongoing auctions. Um, and it's exciting for us. We, we, we really want this to be a sustainable project that will continue for months to come and, and hopefully for years to come. So please go out there, have a look at our website, look at all the details, bid, bid on these auctions or, or buy a raffle ticket and let's, let's help our caddies.